Hello everyone, welcome to Yiflow World. Ever wondered how to delve deeper into your data analytics for more insightful decision making? Today, we're showing you how to drill down from a summary report to detailed records in Yiflow, enhancing your data navigation and analysis. Let's start by entering the contracts analytics application. In this application, we have a form report containing all the submitted contract approval requests. In the flow status column, there are two flow status, completed, and in process. We also have a dashboard called Contracts Analytics, which includes two summary controls. One shows the total amount of the submitted contracts, while another shows the total amount of in-process contracts. What we are going to do is to allow users to click on each summary control to view the detail items of those requests. Let's start by creating a new dashboard called Contract Value Breakdown. Then open the Dashboard Designer. First, from the Controls panel, find Data Table Control. Drag to add this control to the dashboard page. From the Settings panel, choose the Contract Approval Report Form Report as Data Source. In Table Content, select the fields you want to display and set their style to match your needs. Moving to the Contracts Analytics Dashboard, drag to add a container control in front of the Total Contract Value Summary Control. Drag the Total Contract Summary Control into this container. Then select the Container Control, expand the Action Setting Group. From the drop-down list of the Action Execute Type, select Open Dashboard and choose the Dashboard Contract Value Detail Breakdown, which is the one we just created. For Query Parameters, click the Settings button. Then from the Query Parameter window, click Add Parameter button to add a new parameter. Set the name as Flow Status and the value as Filter Not Set. Changing the open way to pop-up windows. Next, drag to add another container control in front of the in-process contract value summary control and drag the summary control into this container. Set the execute type to open dashboard and choose the same dashboard. For query parameters, click add parameter button to add a parameter to use the same name flow status and the value set to in process. Also, changing the open way to pop up windows. Click Submit button to save the changes. Now, let's get back to Contract Value Detail Breakdown Dashboard. Click the Data Table Control from the Designer and under Content tab, find the Data Filter Settings and click the Condition button to open the Data Filters window. Here, we're going to set the Match Condition. Click Add Condition button to add a new condition. From the first drop-down list, select Flow Status Field. Set condition as equal. Then for the value text box, click the switch icon to open the expression editor. In the expression editor, click function and search for get query string. Once you find it, select it, add a text within the function and type in flow status. Click the OK button to save your conditions. This step completes the configuration, allowing the data list control to dynamically display records based on the value of flow status parameter. Now, let's test it out. From the Contracts Analytics dashboard, clicking on the Total Contract Value Summary Control, a pop-up window will show up with all contract detail records. Then, clicking on the In-Process Contract Value Summary Control will show the those contracts that the flow status is in process. That's how you drill down from a summary report to detailed records in Yiflow, enabling deeper insights and smarter decisions. Thanks for joining us in Yiflow World. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips and tricks. See you next time.